Auto Line on the Road from the North American International Auto Show is brought to you by Tajin Automotive Technologies and by Magna. Matteo DeSorbo is the EVP of new mobility at Magna. You guys got some cool vehicles that you're going in. And you've just, I mean, announced all kinds of things. This week alone, uh, there's three different vehicles I want to talk about here. What's this battery swapping, low mobility, micro mobility thing that you're doing in India? Well, first of all, thank you for uh, having me here today. We're very excited. We are going to be talking about three things today. Uh, Yulu Energy and Yulu Mobility is our investment in India. So Yulu, Y-U-L-U. That's right. It's an Indian company or is it's it a an Magna Indian company. subsidiary? They're actually, no, they're an Indian company. They're actually the largest electrified mobility provider on a shared platform two-wheelers. Uh, they're already uh, in, in production today and we've invested both in Yulu Mobility and we've created a new battery charging and swapping company. You know, there's been talk about battery swapping for electric cars, but that means you got to standardize it, all the connections got to be the same. No automaker wants to standardize. But for micro-mobility, it's perfect. Huge opportunity, and that interoperability is exactly what we're aiming for. You, we want to have a 48 volt battery that is easy to be swapped from hardware to hardware, and because of its size, it's a lot easier to do than it is in a four-wheeled four vehicle. Sure, it's like you're not even the size of a shoebox, right? We have it over here. It's, it's, I actually was in India three times this year. I've gone and changed batteries myself. Less than two minutes, you're in and out of a station. That's way cool. So 48 volt, uh, 48 volt Lithium, or what is it? A uh, couple, couple different technologies, but LFP is what we're going to go oh, with. Oh, interesting. And uh, we're producing in, in uh, India. Really? And we're scaling up in the fourth quarter of this year. So this is still fairly small. At, even though they're the largest, they're around 10,000 units on the road right now. We're going to scaling this thing up way beyond that. And i got to believe you're looking way beyond India as well. That's right. This is the first market we're doing with. It's the highest growth market. They have 200 million gas-powered two-wheelers that have to be turned over to an electrified platform to meet their sustainability targets. So it's a great market opportunity. We partnered with the leaders, and we bring the competence and technologies of Magna to make it happen. Yeah, no, I love that. I, I'm very bullish on micro-mobility myself. Okay, next vehicle. You got this little autonomous pod thing. Talk about that. Cardkin. So we announced last week our partnership with Cardkin, who is making So who's Cardkin? I've never heard of them They're an autom before. autonomous robotic sidewalk delivery company. They've developed everything themselves. It's a low-cost delivery uh, unit. We're going to be manufacturing this uh, robot right here in Michigan and start to expand for their delivery uh, customers and programs around North America. So autonomous, it can go anywhere it's or what? It's only on the sidewalk, it's low speed. Uh, it's meant for certain use cases. Obviously we're starting the deployments in universities and then we're gonna scale it up uh, from there. Obviously municipalities have their bylaws that have to be uh, followed, but this is the first application for it. We're then gonna use this platform to use it across other uh, opportunities, maybe indoors, outdoors, maybe in manufacturing operations. We have uh, the technology to do it with our partnership with Karkin. Okay, Matteo, now we got to talk pizza. We what have. the heck is this about? So we did an amazing development here internally at Magna where we were using our competence on our building blocks to come with an on the road, low speed, so up to 20 miles per hour, autonomous last mile delivery unit. And we decided to pilot with a company right here in Michigan, in Detroit, uh, who makes pizzas. They wanted to find some innovation to focus their employees on doing what they do best, which is making pizzas, and we get to focus on what we do best, bringing technology to market. So where's Magna going with all this? I mean, you know, you're no longer a supplier that stamps out metal or molds plastic or makes door latches or stuff. This whole mobility thing, this is crazy what you're getting into. Yeah, well, let me correct you. We are still a Magna that has been around for 65 years, and we're going to continue to grow in those markets because we are uh, bringing great technology in those areas. But the new mobility landscape is changing so drastically that we saw a huge opportunity to leverage our employees, our technologies, and our manufacturing competence to bring these to market for ourselves or even partnering with great companies around the world. That's so cool. Mateo, thanks for your time, man. This is really awesome. Yeah, thanks for having me. Some things are good for a while until something better comes along. Tajin Automotive Technologies is helping make metals a thing of the past with advanced composite materials. Tajin Automotive Technologies, the formula for better mobility.